Push hands is a very necessary part of Tai Chi. It's the link between form and function. When he's pushing me, I'm basically giving way. Now, if he was to push with a little bit more to it, I would want to learn how to relax and sink my weight, and then he goes off balance, which is the idea to redirect his force. So you see, he comes, I yield, and I neutralize. Now, as you'll see, just a simple practice, that when, he, when I yield and I neutralize, all of a sudden, he's off balance. So whenever there's any force placed on any part of your body, you should let go, and then you can attach on the other side. So if you notice as we push, he takes my elbow, my elbow drops around, and I take his elbow, right? So that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to maintain contact, but if I stiffen up and he takes my elbow, he affects my whole body. He affects my whole body. So we never fight force when it comes in. We always give way to force in Tai Chi. Here. Just wrap. Wrap around. Step, circle, take. Okay? But in the beginning, we want to step. Trap and brush. Okay? It becomes step, trap, brush. And notice how I keep stepping away from his attack. And he'll step away from mine. So when he comes in, I'll go back, I'll step here, and I'll turn a little bit, I'll rotate when he comes in, and he comes in to attack my shoulder, I'll step out of the way. And see the position that I'm in to take him. For instance, we push hands here. And I want to split him here. So it's all kind of ways to utilize, to utilize split. I mean, here, to split him here. Or we come here to split him here. Step, stay close here, and come in. He goes, he turns, now when he pushes, notice I'm going to step over his leg here. And see, I'm part of him right now. When I pull him backwards, I can not only just pull him backwards, but I can put my leg here to make him fall so that he can't take the half step. All of these things become part of this practice in time. We wrap around our opponent like a snake 